Hey, hey, howdy, hey. I was going to start this video by saying I've just got in from school, but that would be a filthy, dirty lie because I've been in for a while now. Anyway, so for me, I don't know if it is for you guys, but it is the start, well, the official start of the exam season. Um, my first exam started yesterday and it was RE and um, like my year 11 RE exam, obviously, and uh, my French reading and listening. And I don't think I've started off very well. I went in feeling all excited and everything, but I don't think I did as well as I could have done or as well as I thought I did in, like, in previous papers and stuff in the RE exam. And then in the French listening, I felt so ill, like I didn't even care. I felt like I was going to pass out. I don't know why. It just happened all of a sudden. And it wasn't nerves because I'd already have got one exam out of the way. And to be honest, French doesn't really phase me like, I know it sounds bad, but that's the lesson that I care least for, if that makes sense. I know it sounds terrible, but it is. So I wasn't panicking or anything. Just halfway through the listening paper, I was just feeling so ill and sick. I just needed fresh air. And I was getting so excited because I was like, right, I can hold out till the last couple of minutes of this. Got to the last couple of minutes and I was like, yes, fresh air. No, 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 Jen. You have to stay in for the rest of your life, pretty much. It might as well have been. No, I had to stay in that same hall without moving or anything for the reading paper. So that was my dream out the window, but I was fine in the end. And the highlight of my day, it's sad to say, was when I turned over the page. Uh, this is the time I was feeling sick, I think. I turned over the page in the listening paper, and one of the options was, I like trains made me laugh, made my day, and I told loads of people about it, and I wrote it as like a Facebook status, and everyone agreed, they thought it was funny as well. So, um, next, let's see if I can remember, next Monday now, because I've got kind of a nice gap, well, yeah, pretty much I've got a nice week gap between each of my exams, except for, like, one, um, so I've got a nice revision space, and get everything else out of my head, and, and just focus on this, if that makes sense. So yeah, I've got RE in French out of the way, and then I've got my English language exam I believe next Monday and then I think some point during that week I've also got music reset which I'm pissed off about yeah um then I think it's like a half term or something because I think yeah after half term I have two history exams paper one and paper two USA and international relations and then the British depth one and I've also got Last, um, the one in June, which is the 18th of June, which is when I pretty much officially leave school. And that's my physics, like my second physics exam. Okay, so, uh, history. Mm. History. Well, I got pulled up after class with a few other people and Sir was talking about our uh, controlled assessments. And there was a big thing with mine, like I couldn't open it again once I, once I improved it. I can open the file, it's password protected or something. Well anyway, he wanted it by Wednesday, so tomorrow's Wednesday, and I can't give it to him, so I was really panicking, and then I was like, look sir, I found a document, and it says improved controlled assessment for history. I opened it, it was a password protected one, got the password, and I realised that was, it was just a blank document. That's the document that I did for IT. This is getting really confusing now, but that's the document I did for IT when I had to do this test of password protection and stuff like that. And for some reason, I named it history, whatever I said it was, and it wasn't. So I haven't got a history controlled assessment on my computer, on the school computer, anything. I don't have one. And he said, it's okay. I've still got one from September. I'll just use that. I was like, thank fuck for that. <laughs> but yeah, just a little exam update I thought I'd give you. Um, if you see me in these clothes again, it might be because I'm kind of on the fence of making a few videos now and then just uploading them every now and then so you, like, you don't get bored of not seeing my beautiful face. Um, but then again, I might not because I'm pretty tired and I want to take my makeup off and I just want to revise and then sleep and watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, um, I'm kind of addicted to that now, so I'm going to go and bye. <laughs> I need to burp. <coughs> There's another one. <coughs> I told you so.